We've got brand new Space Marine lore to go over today, and it's all from one of the greatest chapters that was ever made. The Executioners, the glorious sons of Rogal Dawn, founded by none other than Fafnir Ran. For those of you who don't know, Fafnir Ran was favoured by Rogal Dawn. He was literally Sigismund's best friend. This chapter fought during the Badab War and suffered the consequences. So let's jump in, let's talk about it all, because this is amazing as always massive spoiler warnings for the actual book itself i'll put it in the background right now it's called tally of slaughter written by mark anthony fench this was a short story that was put out last week with a bunch of other space marine short stories if you come to reading the book and you don't want to be spoiled then please leave the video now this is your first and only warning now just so we're all on the same page i'm going to do a little bit of a law summary of what has happened so far with the executioners and how important this new short story is so back when the badab war was going on the astral claws basically went renegade the executioners sided with the astral claws they were oath sworn to side with them because they owed them a debt we all know what happened with the badab war the imperium turned up space marines versus space marines the astral claws basically then turned to chaos they went into the warp and stuff the executioners stood trial they said yes we were in the wrong uh, but we are still loyal to the emperor and they were put on a penance crusade if i'm not mistaken they were put on a hundred year penance crusade during that hundred years of penance they were not allowed to recruit any new space marine to the chapter they already suffered devastating losses during the badab war so if the chapter couldn't recruit then it basically died out that was their penance if you die you die if you come to the end of it that's when you can start recruiting again and that's all we got that was basically it with the executions the executions were one of my favorite chapters as i mentioned they were founded by fafnir ran himself sigismund's best friend so i've always been searching for brand new lore about them and we finally get it now in this brand new short story and this story now takes place more or less after the penance of the executioners it actually confirms inside of this short story that they've completed the penance and they've began to receive brand new primaris marines they were actually met by a torch bearer fleet at the end of their penance crusade and of course given the gene tech all the weaponry that belisarius call has been given out to the galaxy to other space marine chapters to reinforce the chapter and bring it back to life now it also confirms that all of the chapter except one member has now taken the rubicon primaris the executioners are fully on board with becoming primaris marines like i said they've got new recruits now they're building their ranks back up they are back to fighting strength they want to unleash their axes upon the galaxy one more now there is one member that has not taken the rubicon primaris and that is one of the librarians the reason why he hasn't taken the rubicon primaris is because the chapter deemed it may be a risk to lose him during the operation which confirms there's still a risk crossing the rubicon primaris it was alluded to in um, darkness of the blood if i'm not mistaken that one of calls um uh, gene tech people was was saying that there would be well, well there would come one day where crossing the rubicon primaris would have no risks at all and everyone can do it not in this story there's still risk and they've kept this librarian back now to sum the story up we have this chaplain called razzle by the way the executioners call their chaplains deaf speakers it's just a cool thing that they do in their chapter and razzle actually fought in the badab war he's a veteran from the badab war one of the few in the ranks of the executioners who are still standing of course during that penance they were still decimated fighting wars and stuff like that and they couldn't recruit so there's only a few remaining real executioners left in the executioner chapter the rest of course have been reinforced um with the primaris and stuff like that uh, but the story is razzle is hunting a astral claw an astral claw that fought in the badab war he wants his vengeance he swore an oath of like i will hunt him down i will kill him for every everything that they did to the chapter etc etc um the astral claw went onto a mechanicus planet uh, the scataria corrupted and he's channeling a like ritual a mechanical ritual to try and summon something 
into the real world. Now, Razzle and his force of executioners land on like this kind of like mobile walker of like mechanic and things that like sucks volcanoes dry and stuff like that. It's really, really weird. Really, really mad tech and stuff. They're fighting like corrupted Sakara. We get like some really cool information like the blade guard for the executioners don't use swords. They actually use axes, which is really, really badass and so executionist, of course, because their symbol is about the, you know, the axes and Fafnir ran who wielded axes. All that amazing stuff. They manage to fight their way into like the heart of this like corrupted plant. They get to the ritual. They see like this astral claw guy who has been hunting and stuff like that. And then we get like the big awesome twist like the astral core guy is actually not dedicated to huron like huron left us huron was like um, like a bastard kind of thing and as we were drifting the warp um a god came to us and that god is none other than Vastor himself. Like, these these Astral Claws have actually been working with Vastor. You have this big battle and stuff, like, where the um, uh, like the Astral Claw, like, shuts down the power armor of Razzle, and then the Librarian, who is firstborn, basically sacrifices himself with his warp power and, like, blows up the ritual, which gives Razzle a chance for them to beat the living death out of this Astral Claw, fulfill his penance, but, of course, he lost one of his closest brothers. Now, with the ritual destroyed, destroyed Razzle and the rest of the surviving executioners go back into orbit. By the way, on an Overlord gunship, may I add, they keep mentioning this Overlord gunship, but we've never seen official artwork, images, models, none of it. And apparently, it's supposed to like make a Stormbird look small. That's how big an Overlord gunship is. Um, so they go back to their um, uh, uh, fleet in orbit, or I should say their ship in orbit, and what the executioners normally do, they take trophies. So like the executioners have like a, a Chaos Chainsaw and stuff like that, because they've been fighting the Astral Claw, a bunch of like cool things that they lay at an altar and all this amazing stuff and uh, Razzle basically then you know comes to the fallen librarian and uh, says he was the last of the firstborn so it confirms that everyone now in the executioner chapter is 100% a Primaris Marine, either new or they have crossed the Rubicon Primaris, like I said. But the big twist, the massive, massive big twist, a part of all of this is then we get a little scene with Vashtor, the Arkham fame, where he has like a pauldron of the executioners. And he was like, huh, these people like tried to put a cog into my, into my plans. I will. I will see what I can do with these. And that's when it leaves it open. Like, Vashtor now has it in for the executions. And, of course, with everything that's going on with Vashtor in the current law, he's currently, you know, uh, with the Necrons, Gilliman's supposed to go in there, maybe the Lions go in there and stuff like that. It really does open it up because, of course, the Astral Claws became the Red Corsairs, so maybe we could have the Red Corsairs and the Executioners getting involved with each other because they both hate each other now, even though we've both sworn with each other with an oath and stuff. This could be the introduction of Huron because there's a rumor there's a new Huron model out there and stuff like that. I think the narrative is building to something that is going to be happening with Vashtor, the forces of chaos, in the future narrative for Warhammer 40,000, and I'm absolutely excited. Personally, with this story, I wish it was longer. I know it's a short story, and that's what it's designed to be, but I would love a full-on executioner novel. I think Mark Anthony Fench, who wrote this, I think he did an incredible job. I think he gets what the executioners are. Hopefully, Games Workshop give him a novel to bring uh, the chapter to life a little bit more. My first chapter in like 8th edition and everything like that was the Executioner chapter. Remember, I've got a video up on my channel. Maybe I'll post it in the background a little bit of it right now. I did a full army of Executioners, but I gave that all away to charity to raise some money um, and stuff like that. And now I'm thinking, is it time to return to the Executioners? Is it time to bring that chapter back to life? I've been looking and I've been thinking, I want to do something more than my Imperial Fist, and I think this may be the right track to go down to bring these awesome things um, back on the table. Anyway, that's enough waffling for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you um, um, for listening, I should say. Listening and watching, whatever you're doing. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below. If you want me to do a breakdown and, and all the new lore about all the other short stories, because there's a Howling Griffin one, there's a Red Talon one, there's a Lamenters one and stuff like that, um, I'll do it. Just let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll make videos of them, because it's all Space Marine stuff, right? And 
everyone here loves Space Marines, I guess. This is a Space Marine fanboy channel, as you've probably guessed with everything in the background. Anyway, thank you. See you. Have a good night, day, evening, whatever you are in the world. And bye-bye.